there are countless recipes, countless applications of the egg in it. And that's when it dawned on me that I had to start thinking about this logically because it's just, it's overwhelming if you try and think of all the different varieties. So I think, okay, got an egg. You can cook it in its shell, you can cook it out of its shell. If you cook it in its shell, you um, do this, 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 this. The, the whole idea behind the book was that if you understood everything there was to know about the egg, you increase your skills as a cook tenfold. And that's my ultimate goal. Nothing as nutritious, economical, versatile as the humble egg. Okay, we're making scrambled eggs. So we just crack on a flat surface so we don't shatter the egg into the white. And then we whisk the egg till it's uniform. Uh, I'm going to add a little salt now so that they're seasoned. A lot of people um, are taught that this makes the eggs tough. I don't believe that it does. If you believe that it does, then don't salt it. Uh, I think it seasons the egg uniformly. See, I don't see any white in there, so I think that that's a pretty good mixture. I always use plenty of butter. See, that's a little a little hot for me. The, the key to scrambled eggs is low temperature. Now the, the cold eggs will cool off the pan a little, but we try and cook everything too fast and we shouldn't. It's almost, this is almost too hot. They're, they're really cooking fast here, so I'm going to hold it above the flame. But what you want is you want curds. You don't want it all dry. Um, you want the warm eggs sort of coating the eggs so the curds are like basically sauced. So I'm going to grab a plate over here. Remember, they're still cooking as long as they're in the pan and on the plate. And then just some, some chives to garnish. These are damn good scrambled eggs.